Hey gents, today I'm with Trenton and Heath down at Potter and Sons Shoe Artisans in Nashville. And I had a question for them, which was really, you know, like I bought that whole Saphir kit of polish. It was very expensive. And of course, everybody knows the Kiwi brand. But I want to know, is Saphir worth it? Uh, well, uh, just putting it out there, we sell primarily at our shop uh, the Saphir products. Um, the reason that we recently started selling Saphir is because we do think that Saphir is worth it. Um, but with that being said, we do use other creams at our shop as well. Uh, so we've got several here. Um, Kiwi, Old I'm Faithful. Of, <laughs> oh, yeah, Old Faithful. <laughs> we used Kiwi when we were kids. My dad, our dad was in the military and we always shined his boots for fun using Kiwi. Um, but that's kind of where I would leave Kiwi. Uh, you know, if you're in the military and want to do Kiwi, I know knock yourselves out. I should um, say, you didn't, <clears throat> this is the only bottle in the whole shop you had. You yeah. had to like dig it out yeah. and, and it's dried and out. And we had to blow dust off of it. Yeah. So that, we do not use Kiwi here. And the reason for that is, I think we had to take the price tag off of it too. And it was like $3 a can. So I mean, that really tells you what you need to know. Um, it just, the ingredients in it are not great for your shoes. I mean, if you have a pair of, you know, boots and you're trying to the spit shine the toe or whatever, yeah, it gets the job done. But if you have a nice pair of like Allen Edmonds or a nice dress shoe or whatever, I know there's guys that have swear by it, but it, we just don't use it. It builds up very quickly on your yeah. shoes as well. And it doesn't have a lot of conditioning products that are good for your leather. Uh, not natural products. Yeah. We used to have actually another brand that called Lincoln and I'm pretty sure it got thrown away. Yeah. But uh, Lincoln, I, I would take Lincoln over Kiwi. I would agree. If, if I had to choose between the two. Um, Lincoln think, has a little bit more of a, con it, it feels a little softer when, yeah. you, when you touch Kiwi. It's just so dry and it, you just can tell that nothing, there's not a lot of moisture there that's going down into your leather. Uh, Lincoln is another brand we used to use. Um, I do like Lincoln over Kiwi. So if you're adamant on buying a brand that's just cheaper, um, just to get a good shine on your shoe, Lincoln's not bad. Now you also have Tarago, <clears throat> which yeah. is made in Spain, and then this is like the mid, the blue line, mid-level of Saphir. Yeah. And so what would be the kind of step up in each of these? So yeah, like at our shop, um, when, when customers come in, they want a shoe shine, we do have different uh, levels. If you just want a basic shine, then Tarago is the brand that we use. Um, the Tarago we have found is, we used to use Meltonian, and believe it or not, they pulled Meltonian and we just aren't able to get it any longer. And we wound up using Trago, and we actually do like Trago better. It just has a lot more moisture in it. Um, you could tell a difference between that and the Meltonian. It's just, you know, a lot more liquid. And it really gets down into the pores of the shoe a little bit better than um, the old Meltonian. It's still did. got a very quick dry time. Um, so if you're still looking to do that very quick shine just with the cream, Meltonian does a good job, just like the, the blue line, but oh, and, and, right. and, and the shine is good. Um, I am not as familiar with uh, the breakdown of the formula of Tarago, um, so I can't say if it's all natural or, or what, but I do know that it is a little cheaper than the Saphir line, and, but it does um, soak into the leather well, and it does give a good shine. Yeah, but going from there, Again, our step up is to use the Saphir products. And where these do, I, where I feel that they truly do set themselves apart is the conditioners and the, the pigment quality in the creams. Yeah. Um, I say the creams, we do, the waxes are fantastic too, but just, you know, if you're just wanting a basic, quick shine, that if you, I always tell customers, if you have to use one product in your shoes on a weekly basis, I prefer to use cream over wax uh, because a cream is going to moisturize your shoe much better and it's going to still provide a nice light shine. Um, if you want a spit shine or a really well built up shine, I would use a wax, but if you want something every week to put the cover up the scuffs and put conditioner back in your shoe, um, a cream is the way to go. And you know, with that being said, yes, the Sphere um, Beauty de Cure is the baseline for Saphir. Um, it's, it's a great product. Uh, but it, it does not have as many or as high of a concentration of the uh, conditioners and pigment as the Medal d'Or line. And I know a lot of folks kind of freak out when they see the price tag, especially on this one, because yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it's like $22, $25 a jar. But 
you know, we've chosen to use that one just because we've used so many products on shoes and hands down if you use it, you know, on a shoe, especially one that's been stripped down of all the old old creams and you start fresh, it really does make a big difference. And it, 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 the upper is only going to soak in when it wants to, so it's not like you can put too much of this stuff on the shoe. Um, that's another good thing for the cream over the wax. Um, but it's also, a jar is going to last you for a long time. So if you do invest in this, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to last a long time. I mean, you're not gobbing this stuff on. You're just getting a little stubble on your uh, uh, brush and dabbing it on and uh, smearing it all into your shoe. So <clears throat> I did grab, we grabbed this because we want to talk about it, is even if you use Saphir, polish the yeah. highest end one on a shoe like this is a, a lower end Johnson Murphy shoe the leather is only going to take what it can based on the quality of the leather so there's open poured leather closed poured leather <clears throat> and a lot of Johnson and Murphy's um, and it's not just Johnson and Murphy um, but a lot of Johnson and Murphy's uh, will use Kohans will have a uh, almost like a top coat that they finish their leathers um, when, when they're at the tannery and it's kind of got a built-in shine, so if you look at it, it just looks like it's automatically got a sheen to it. And that's not gonna soak in uh, creams that has a lot more of the oils in it um, from the Madame Dior. So that's where the blue line comes in. This can actually sit on the surface and still buff out and give you a good shine. Um, sometimes if you put the Madame Dior on there, it's just gonna kind of smear because it's not soaking in to the leather. Is um, that why you'll get a shine with maybe a Kiwi on a lower end shoe? It's like you kind of match the yeah. quality of the polish to the So yeah, the so a lot of these shoes, you know, you see a lot of the um, Cole Hans, uh, a lot of the John Murphys again, that have that built-in shine on it. You know, yeah, you can pretty much put whatever you want on it, and a lot of things aren't gonna soak into it as well. So pretty much anything you put on it and you buff off is gonna give a shine to it. Um, if you want a, excuse me, if you have a closed port or an open port shoe, like most high quality calfskin leathers, you have to work, build up the shine. And that's where you really want to focus on having something that has a lot of natural conditioners um, and, and natural waxes in it, like, you know, beeswax, carnauba wax, and that are in those Saphir products. And um, those are what's going to give you a great shine on those higher end shoes. You can put all both of these on an open board shoe, but I wouldn't go the other way around. I wouldn't say you can put both of them on a closed board. I would stick with this. If you've got that built in shine, this is really all you need. If you've got that higher end, you could go either way. I would recommend this. Yeah. So, like, in my, and for me, knowing like enough about this sort of thing is like if I have a higher end shoe I want to get the nicer polish because it's going to treat yeah, the leather yes. well it's going to make it look really nice if I have uh, you know a sub $200 shoe mm -hmm. leather's probably not as nice it's okay to use the other product because even then the leather's only going to take you so far uh, and last so long so it's yeah. like you kind of step up because the ingredients improve at each price point it's like that's why you're that's why Saphir is worth it is because yeah. it uses that much nicer of a yeah I mean it's just like having a nice car if you have a Ferrari it the engine is built to have that higher octane gas and it's just kind of the same way you know you you're paying for the Medal d'Or cream because it has very high concentration of pigment uh, conditioners and you know if you're going to buy a $300 plus shoe why not stick with something that has only the best ingredients in it? And so. both of these are, on the, the formula for them are all natural. Yeah. So. All right, so that is Trent and Heath. You can check out their channel. They're doing all kinds of cool things around showing shoe repair and polish and how to get the most time out of your shoes, how to prevent this sort yeah, of thing. Exactly. Right? That type of deal. So go ahead and check them out on their channel. And thanks for them coming on to talk about shoe polish and other shoes. I'll link to the other videos we did in this series to talk about Goodyear Well versus Blake Stitch and Alan Edmonds versus Thursday Boots. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.